So let's begin. Take your towel and lay it out on your table. Your batting, your white batting on your bubble wrap. And then take your red fleece robing and with your hand grasp the fleece between your fingers and your palm and just pull off a really small tuft. The bit that you're holding is called the butt and we put that to the edge of your circle. Take another piece and overlapping the first piece we're going to work all the way around the circle cells. So there's the last piece. Now we're going to do the second row. So we're going to do the same thing. We'll pull off a little tuft. But this time we're going to put the butt toward the center. We're going to overlap the first row by a centimeter or so. And again, we're going to place the neighbors next door to each other. Then we're going to do the third row in the same way. So the butt toward the centre, overlapping the row before, the top of the row before. And that looks pretty good. Now we're going to do a second layer. So we'll go back to the start, putting our butt to the edge and do the second layer. Going all the way around. Extra fleece. And then with your tulle, or I've got some netting here, just need something that water can go through. Gently place that over the top of your fleece. And then I've got some one third boiling water to two thirds cold water and a drop of um, washing detergent. We're going to gently add water to the centre of this. And then we're going to press the water into the fleece just on straight up and down so we're not shifting the fleece anywhere. And we're just going to gently work outwards. So we're working from the center outwards to wet down all of this fleece. So a little bit more water. Just start from the outer edge of your wet area. Successful. So you can start to see there's a few little bubbles coming now from the detergent. You can just use kitchen detergent or you can use Lux Flakes or you can use soap you can use pure soap or soap from a and in that way you get the same effect the pressure is straight down and you're not using moving your fibres anywhere great okay from here we're going to take our one side and get your bubble wrap. So we're going to place the bubble wrap bubbles down. And just put some more water on top of the bubble wrap. And then we're going to start gently rubbing and then we gently start to 
glide your hands over the surface of the plastic. And this is giving the fleece a really gentle massage. So we do this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Gym, this kind of thing. Get a lot of arm strength belting. So let's check the fleece. So what we do to check if it's felted is gently pull up little bits of the fleece and if it pulls up as one, so that's a still a little bit unfelted down here. So just check all around your circle. Maybe it needs a little bit more in the middle. And just so you can see now none of those fibers are lifting. So this area just needs a little bit more. So see if you can get Okay. So I think that will be fine. Fine to start rolling now. So you take your this is my pool noodle. Um, but you may have a stick or you may have a blind, a um, matchstick blind. And blind would go underneath all of this. And the blind is good because it just gives you the little bit of support. And you roll it up nice and tight. Being careful with the fleece at this stage because it's still only just started felting. So we're going to do, so there's some of the 20 rolls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we're going to unroll it. And have a look. So it's gotten a bit crunkled, so we're just going to smooth that out on the underneath plastic and then we're going to roll from the other side. So what we can get into the habit of doing is turning one quarter clockwise. So we'll roll this side. Because that's quite felted after 15 minutes of massaging, I'm ready really to go four sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. So you can see all those creases. We just smooth them out so that it's back to beautiful smoothness. And turn clockwise again a quarter. And roll again. A long time. And it's cooled down. So if you like, you can just pour boiling, boiling water on. And roll it up. Just want to heat it back up again. Same if you want to stop felting, you can leave your felt rolled up and come back to it the next day or in a couple of hours. You can see now starting to wrinkle, there's a few wrinkles happening and that means that it's starting to get to its, you know, close to being really quite strong and quite tough as a piece of felt. So now I'm going to dunk this in a bowl of boiling water because you can start to you can squeeze out the water. You've dunked it and it's really got a lot of wrinkles now. So it's starting to really look like a nicely strongly felted piece of felt.